Right, how are we doing? I thought I would do a quick video on the brewery because I don't think you really get to see what it's exactly like from all the kind of close sort of picture, you know, like zoomed in B-roll type stuff. So I thought what I'd do is I'd put on this 19mm I've got on my Sony, get a bit wider connects wider field of view and show you exactly my brewing space and my my kind of bar and all that sort of stuff alright first of all we've got the the kind of as you come in we've got couch um, my editing desk TV studio lighting for the podcast studio lighting for the podcast and just seating etc I've just spilled beer. <laughs> Great. <laughs> anyway, so what we've got is the brewery space. I basically run craft beer pie on my brewery controller over here. So effectively I turn it on here with an isolator and then that gives me power to the, the brewery controller which you see in a lot of the videos then what you've got is the HLT mash tun here which is a 10 gallon SS Brewtech this is a I think I get about, it says 700, 7, 75 litres here but when I've measured it out with the dead space and all that I'm 65 and a bit but that's fine for myself you can always top it up during your brew. There we go, there's a craft beer pie button up. And then you've also got the 80 litre brew kettle that I've got. I'm sporting, sporting a 3.5 kilowatt element at the minute. I do also have a 5 kilowatt or 5.5 kilowatt element as well on my pegboard, spoon, all the stuff on the pegboard to help me brew in, all different tri-clamp fittings etc, the old kettle elements I've got and yeah, so it's just all clear that and then it's, it gives you the it's all touch screen so you can just clear everything and then all the different menus and stuff you've got but yeah, it's good keep brewing fermentation and system yeah, now you can change all the different options for when you're setting it up however you want your temps how you want it all run but yeah, it's great uh, what have we got here we've also got a brewing pump and the counterflow chiller coil and that's your kind of your brewing station as such I've also set up my water so my water comes in down there from the, the, the toilet sink next door and I've got a feed into the kettle and then also here I've got is a a line as well that gives me just cool water and a hose so I can effectively hook this up to either the chiller or use it for cleaning my brewing equipment so that's super handy, that was a, a recent addition I did just a wee tea on the water connection fermentation point and it's the glyco chiller and then a 14 gallon uni tank and a 7 gallon chronicle fermenter as well which both great this one currently just now has got a low ABV beer in it at the minute that I'm brewing it's just hooked into a, a spunding valve and then goes into a little bottle I've got with some star sand in it just so I can see the what's happening with the fermentation so that's that this one here will be getting used at the weekend hopefully brewing uh, goes 
So fruited goes, so looking forward to that. And then next to that I've got a tank of CO2 as well with the regulator and that's just literally for connecting up and purging or putting the uni tank and carbonating within that. This one will do about 2 psi just now. So yeah, you can you can cap it on that, which is decent. And then just down at the bottom here I've got my filter as well for transferring beer. And then all my different various bits and bobs up here. Just next to it I've got a it's just a, a light with a colour changing bulb. It's an aperture I uh, can't remember but it's really cool so you can just turn that on you see you can get some just now it's set to red but you could change any colour you want and it'll do that so it's nice for even just a bit of filmage doing the cinema stuff looks good and yeah and then I've just got a a nice couch here that I just wrecked with the uh, spilling beer all over it and some posters and a bit of Lost Boys and T T2 and Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and I've got a studio light with a beauty dish on it which I use for like any recording basically got my editing set up, I've got a MacBook 13 inch uh, M1 and then a 24 inch screen keyboard and a pad thing and then there's also what else have I got? no that's about it and I've got a fibre, uh, what do you call it? internet fibre connection comes in here as well so I've just run a cat 6 into the garage so I've got high speed and then we've also got uh, the Sony A7 III with a 35 1.4 for any kind of filming headshots and also during the podcast and stuff which is good uh, this bit is all the kind of bar side of things so it's an absolute mess under this and I need to get this tidied up and get it into the other shed so this doesn't have any tools but it does but what we've got is basically a whiskey corner here with a hand pull uh, some brewing salts and salt um, yeah effectively and then load of storage up above the fridge and then my actual my actual what do you call it kegerator so the kegerator just now has got a whole load of dirty glasses of course it does a uh, trial jar for doing gravity measurements etc and some kegs and buckets and stuff all sitting out ready to trip on dead handy and then I've also got a gas bottle here with two regs so the the split one so there's one here for just a fly lead for using even just with the the bottling and yes yeah, so I can hook it up to this here and then that can purge I don't know why that's sitting up here drawing the angle but at the minute it's just got a tap on it as well uh, so there's three taps here another four here and then obviously the hand pull as well and then effectively in here if I can get it open can I just store some beer mail that you guys send me hops in there and then oh, four kegs of beer and then this one I've got is can take four kegs only get two at the minute some of my beer and hops and mostly yeast as well in there at the top shelf which is good so that's where I store all that and then above that it's all bottles so all the plastic bottles I use for beer mail and yeah we side the press down here then I've got a sink and toilet as well just in the garage so it's super handy for not having to go back into the house turn that back off but yeah old old count uh, old Immersion chiller, but I just all the bits and bobs. But yeah, this is the the space as it is. It's great man cave as such, and 
bits of wood. Don't know what I'm going to do. I was thinking about changing the the brown stand at during Christmas there, but I've not bothered my bum. Oh, and the other thing, I've got an anvil bucket here. What I'd quite like to do is get that hooked up to the glycol as well, so then I can do a big batch, 10 gallon, but then split it between these two and then ferment the two. I did buy... I've got a coil for it, so I just need to drill holes, fit that, and then that can get hooked into the glycol system, so yeah. So that's pretty much it. Uh, that is my garage as such. Thought maybe a wee bit of interest for you. And yeah, catch you later. Cheers. Bye.